Hi, I'm Chef Alan Tatro with Global Sugar Art, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use lace mats and, and a lace mix to make lace flowers. We're going to start um, with, uh, this is a crystal candy lace mat. There are several different companies that make lace mats that have uh, petals in them. Uh, some of them, like this one that, that is my design, are used to make uh, sort of flat flowers that you would make in a former, and then you can just lay them on the cake. Others are individual petals, and I'll show you how to, how to make these with wires so that you can then wire the flower together. In, my, uh, in another video I have on making lace, I go through all the lace mixes and all the technique of how to actually make lace and dry it. So please refer to that video for more, more technique and uh, more tips on how to work with lace. I'm using my pre-mixed pearlized lace and this is a very easy process. We're just going to fill a couple of these uh, petals with the lace mix. And I'm, I'm just using a little Atico scraper. Make sure you clean the top off really well so that all the openings of the lace show through. Okay, and then I'm going to use a 26 gauge wire and I'm just going to lay the wire right across the center so that it goes at least two-thirds of the way up the petal. Now let's try that again. And one more here. Now if it overlaps the other petal, the easiest thing to do is just lightly bend the wire up. And it will stay raised a little bit. Now I'm going to put these in the oven. You can put them right on a cardboard mat like this and put them right in the oven at 175 degrees for 10 minutes. That's 175 degrees Fahrenheit. 10 minutes and then I'm going to take it out, let it cool, and I'm going to put a second layer of the lace mix on, and that's going to seal that wire right in the petal. After that, uh, you take um, after the second coat, you just let them air dry. It can take anywhere from five or six hours, or maybe even overnight, depending on the humidity in your your kitchen or your area. The next day, you just pull these out and the wire is already attached and it's it's really nice you can bend these you can uh, mold them you do anything you want so that's the simple part of making the flower actually the whole thing is quite simple um, this aside so to make the actual flower I'm starting with some stamen and I'm going to use a 20 uh, this is a 24 gauge wire And I'm going to wrap the stamen right around the wire. And then I just like to give that a twist so that it's nice and tight. Now, they're going to be floppy like that. So what you do is you take a little bit of tape, of uh, floral tape, and just go right around the very bottom. And then if you want to separate them, they're held together at the bottom and they're more manageable. So that's how we do that part. Now that we have the stamen wired, we're going to go ahead and wire on the, uh, the petals. Uh, just so you're aware, uh, on this regular um, quarter inch uh, floral tape, I used a, a tape cutter to cut it in half so that we have a half width. <clears throat> so we start with the smallest petals. And I'm just going to line these around the top. I think we're just going to put three on there for the center. And tape up a little bit. And then we're going to go with the next size. I 
All I'm doing is bending it back a little bit, bringing it right up so that it's even with the last one and just making one, one uh, wrap of the tape. And I want these to overlap. So we're gonna get five petals in there. And there's the last one. There is a right side and a wrong side to these, so you have to look carefully. One side will be flatter than the other. Now I could stop here if I wanted uh, and just leave the flower that size. You can use all the same size petals, so if you wanted a smaller flower, you could use all small petals. Uh, but I'm going to go down a little bit further. So the next, the third layer, I'm going to bring down a little bit more. I'm going to come down maybe a half inch. Now you can see that I pearlize these with a little bit of pearl dust. Um, if you don't use a pearlized mix, that's an option that you have is to just pearlize them yourself with some dust. Or you can actually airbrush them with a pearlized airbrush spray as well. And that is my five petals. And then I'm going to finish this off by taping it right down to the end. And that's it. And then you can, because you have a wire in there, you can actually bend these so just be careful, press in the middle where the wire is and just lightly bend up the petals and shape them. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit. And there you have a lace blossom. We have another one using a different design of petal uh, and did it in pink with the, with the pink centers. So that's really how easy it is uh, to create a lace flower. There's a, there's a third way, or a second way, I should say, that, we, that I like to do them, and that's to use a forming cup. And this was the, uh, one of the petals from the five petal lace mat. Um, and I, they're different sizes. You can mix and match them however you want. Basically, lay that in, in one of the forming cups. Uh, this happens to be one of the, uh, the cell-shaped cups, but Wilton always makes, also makes little forming cups. Or you can even use like a little bowl. And then I'm going to use a little bit of glue in a brush. This is just Tylos glue. Just put a very little bit of glue on the bottom. And then add a second layer, a smaller one. And you can make as many layers as you'd like. Um, what I sometimes do is use a five petal cutter and I'll cut out a five petal uh, set of, uh, out of gum paste. And I'll thin the edges and I'll put that between the outer lace and the inner lace. So you actually have a solid piece that matches uh, the same shape that can go in between. So that's an alternative. And finally I'm going to take a little bit more glue just in the center. And I'm not, not even going to use tweezers. I'm just going to grab a couple of these draggies and make a center. And just allow that to dry uh, several hours un until all the glue is dry. And then you can just take this and you can just set it on a cake. Um, and they, they make a really nice little fantasy flower. And of course you can color the, the lace mix ahead of time or you can dry brush the lace mix, or you can airbrush it, um, or you can mix a luster dust with alcohol or lemon extract and color uh, the petals. So it gives you a lot of options. But So that's a wired flower and an unwired flower using the lace mix and lace mats. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And again, all the supplies are available at globalsugarart.com. Have a great day.